the father of modern day capitalism, Adam Smith, who wrote uh, in The Wealth of Nations on this issue. And one of the strains of thought that is common throughout that book is that markets depend on morals. Markets depend on morals. And he reiterated that in another one of his treaties called the Theory of Moral Sentiments, in which he says that when, which he said that the pursuit of enlightened self-interest leads to the well-being of society. So in a sense, I think companies also need to realize that one, they have an obligation to their shareholders, which is correct, but they have an obligation also to a very important stakeholder, which is society. The United Nations actually has estimated uh, that the, uh, the poverty levels uh, 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 will increase uh, uh, by about 36 uh, million people uh, more in poverty, uh, uh, which means uh, 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 we go back to about the levels of 10 years ago uh, as a proportion of the population. Africa is losing money. It is losing money um, not only through crime and corruption, you know, things like trafficking and so on, but primarily through commercial transactions largely by, um, by private sector actors and, uh, and uh, enablers in, in the system, you know. So uh, the losses that, that Christian was talking about, um, uh, wealth parts offshore uh, and some of the intermediaries, whether we're talking about bankers and lawyers like myself, you know, um, tax, tax planners and so on, um, auditors and, and, and accountants, all contributing to, to extraction of the wealth of, of, of Africa.